You know what you came here for. Sit back and tune in for Isha Talor. Yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Isha Talor. So, today's video is going to be my favorite products. I'm not going to say gels because they're not all gels that a bomb for a wash and go for the summer. Now that I live in the South, which is humidity central, I have <laughs> some strong opinions as to what gels actually has been holding up for me, which ones I recommend, and a couple honorable mentions as well. There won't be any particular order, but I will say two of these products are some heavy hitters and they are my absolute favorite. Okay, no, I got switched, I got changed that. There is no particular order because now I can't even choose between these ones. The first one I'm gonna mention is something, actually I think I have a video on almost all of these, so if they, I'll leave them in the cards and also in the description box if you wanna see these gels in action. But the first one I'm gonna mention is the one that I recently just used, so it's on my mind, heavy, is the Do Beat Girl Honey Curl Custard, y'all. This, this is doing what it's supposed to do, okay? I love how big it is, for one, so this will last me a good bit. So I work from home, but once a month I have to go into the office for the whole week, and I use this for my twash and go, which is my twist and wash and go. Again, I have videos on this. And baby, my hair held up to that humidity, because three out of the five days, it was 100 degrees here, I don't know why I moved. Um, <laughs> and my hair was still defined, held up. It was not puffy. It was not frizzy. It was doing the thing. This is bomb. If you have not tried this, I don't know what you're doing. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this product is that it has protein in it. So I have to be very, very careful to not use this every freaking wash day. As much as I want to, I can't. Or if I do, here's a tip. I just make sure everything on my wash day was super moisturizing. So none of the shampoos, deep conditioners, leave-in conditioners have protein besides this. That's the only way I can get away with using this to have a moisture protein balance. So this stuff is bomb. All right, again, no particular order, but since we're talking about the brand, I might as well just stick to the brand. And I have the Do Crazy Sexy Curl Setting Foam. Y'all, I know this is a mousse, and you're like, girl, we're talking about things that last. Yes, this, this, she, her, lasts, okay? Oof, it literally at the bottom it says it detangles, conditions, defines, hold, and shine. It gives all of that. It's very rare now that we get a product that says everything that it claims. Mm, this ain't lying. Again, I have to be very mindful with this because it does have protein in it as well. But if you want a one step wash and go, same thing for that curl custard. But if you want like a mousse wash and go a little bit more on the fluffy side, but still some crazy hold, this is your girl, okay? The original ain't got nothing on this. I do have a battle of the two. The original do mousse and this one, spoiler alert, this one wins, okay? All right. <laughs> Again, no particular order, but those are just the newest products that I've tried and I love. So it is what it is. But I also really love the Inner Sense I Create Whole Gel. You can get this product from Amazon, I think Ulta if I'm not mistaken. Either way, the links will be down in the description bar for your pleasure. But um, this is, I would say, the pricier of all the gels that I will be mentioning today. But a little bit of this does go a very long way. The hold is ridiculous. It stands with this humidity, okay? I got... If I'm not mistaken, and I might be lying, I need to watch my video again. I got more than seven days out of the wash go with this gel. So if you go on a vacation or something and you are wearing your natural hair, which is very bold, because we, we wear braids when we go on vacation. But if you do <laughs> rock your natural hair, I would say use this. Because this will give you balm hold for a very long time. Love this. Another product that has amazing hold and stands the humidity test is by Curls and Potions. It's the Black Curl Magic Medium Home Moisture Sealing Custard. Now, I do have a video on this as well. And what I like about this one is that it has amazing ingredients, right? Curls and Potions just does that for me all the time. It has fermented black rice water, so you're getting that amazing ingredients while also poppage curls. It says medium hold, but for me, 
it was some crunchy hold and I think it, it does a really good job as well. So this is worth trying. Another gel that I just haven't really been mentioning that much but I do grab for it from time to time is the Curl Glaze, no nope, I lie, the Curl Days Glossy Shine Gel Cuckoo Oil. Um, I have a review on this as well. I have two reviews because I had to try it again because I knew that I did not do it justice the first time. It just, it just wasn't. And I was in a different state. Again, these are now my staples being in a humidity state. So, um, this does have glycerin though. Shockingly, it's the second ingredient, but it doesn't bother me that much. It's just something to know. If your hair hates glycerin in the summertime, then just don't grab for this. The other ones don't have glycerin, so this would be the one that does, but I think it's actually pretty good and it holds up very well. All right, another do product that I also did a video on. It does have glycerin, but it does a very good job. The Pop Locket Wash and Go. It says five day curl forming gel. As y'all saw in that video, I didn't, I don't know what the five day. But I have to realize that not everyone likes a crunchy wash and go like I do. So if you want something more on the lighter side, um, but still gives the hold and the shine and stuff, this is actually a really good product. And like I said, this does have glycerin in it, so that's just something to also pay attention to, but it did very well in this Georgia heat. Another product that actually does very well is my Me Curl Glaze. I know this is a limited edition one, but I'm only mentioning this because Me brings back things all the time. I actually used this product when I went to the natural hair show back in April, and this actually did very well. There's glycerin in here, but it's further down, kind of the middle ingredient, so it doesn't really um, bother me too much. This gives me a good balance of moisture and hold. So if you like something that has hold, not necessarily a hard crunch, but holding power and moisture, this is your girl. So again, Mish M is for moisture. I always tell you this all the time. So this is bomb as well. So just keep an eye out for this when it comes back. I have two honorable mention gels just because it, it is what it is. So the Nation's Little Secret Okra Curl Defining Gel. Um, that video should be, yeah, that video's out, so I'll link it above. This did a very good job. The only reason why it's in my honorable mentions is because I technically did not go outside to test this in humidity. It's just hot in Georgia, yes, but I didn't go outside. I only went outside once. So, I could see this being very well, doing very well in the weather, but because I didn't test it, I don't want to lie to y'all. It still gives a crunch. Um, and holding power, so it does a great job. It's just that I haven't been able to test it outside, but for what it did in those days, it did a great job. And another honorable mention, don't know if the video's out yet, but the Camille Rose Curl Maker, I did a battle between this and something else. I'm not gonna spoil it if it's not out yet. So this is an honorable mention only because I didn't go outside when I used this either. And I can see how this can get sticky real fast. Like it's moisturizing, which is awesome, right? It does have holes, but I can tell it might like frizz up fast. I don't know. But again, for those that don't like a strong, crispity, crackety hold, this might be a girl. Cause it still gives perfect definition. I actually have some in my hair right now. Um, great definition, smells good, of course, Camille Rose. And easy to find. I know some of these gels are not like, actually, you can find a good bunch of these gels, you know, in store. But, I don't want to mention only because I don't know if she can last a good full week. But she cute though, and she does a job, so, yes. All right, I think that concludes my favorite gels and mousse. <laughs> for wash it goes for the summer that can combat this humidity and summer weather. So if there's a gel that I did not mention that you think is bomb, I'll leave it down below because sharing is caring. And also it might be something that I want to try as well. Um, so let me know in the comments below all that good stuff. And don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't done so already and subscribe if you want to be part of this fam bam of mine. And I will most certainly catch you in the next one. Peace.